Hey everyone, Sweet Johnny Cage here, back with another guide for Ori and the Will of the Wisps. This time I'm going to show you how to defeat Quolock. Quolock's encounter can be broken down into two phases. There is an escape sequence at the beginning, followed by a combat sequence. The combat sequence is technically two phases, uh, but if you die at any point, you have to restart the entire uh, combat part, so we'll just call that phase two. The escape sequence is relatively easy. You want to bash off of this bulb here right after uh, the branch gets broken. I recommend not standing on these bridges at all. You're just gonna take damage from the arms that are reaching out. Um, but yeah, just keep skipping along and then you do want to dash very quickly under that falling pillar. Dash through these pools, this way you don't get caught up too much and then just uh, dash off these walls. Uh, for these fish, you can bash them uh, in, in the water if you'd like, but better off just uh, water dashing. And that's it. The escape sequence is pretty quick. The fight, however, is uh, kind of challenging. You're going to start off on land, and the hitbox for Quolock is his face, uh, but he has a range of attacks with his arms, his tongue. Uh, he can also uh, shoot some uh, projectiles, which he does a lot more in the second uh, part of this encounter. Uh, the Ouroboros enemy kind of on top of him, I, I really don't know what that guy's called. Uh, he can summon arms that break out through the ground, uh, they, there is a tell for these, the, the ground sort of gets like a bit of a light particle effect, and if you kill those arms, you will get energy. I highly, highly recommend uh, regenerating at any opportunity, because for the second portion of this fight, you're going to be underwater. Uh, so here I'm using the fireball ability, I did do uh, Boar's Reach before this, so I have that ability. Uh, if you don't, it's not a big deal, it does do a lot of damage, uh, but you can, you can kill them without, it's not a big deal. Uh, so there's a lot of jumping, and you do want to jump uh, safely because of the fact that while you are in the air, he is also able to make swipes at you. Um, the first part of this fight is a lot easier because you can regenerate as much as you like. The second part of this fight is underwater. So you need to air dash out of the water and then uh, swipe at his face a bunch. Eventually, he will also shoot projectiles into the water, but there are two kinds of projectiles. There are regular missile type projectiles, which you can uh, bash back to him for a decent amount of damage. Uh, but then there are also projectiles that are just these uh, dark rocks, and those cannot be bashed back. You have to avoid those. I actually recommend, it, when he starts spitting those out, I recommend climbing onto the walls, because the trails will stay in the water longer than they will in the air. So just a little tip, uh, you know, when he's shooting those dark trails, uh, just get onto the walls. Eventually, the Ouroboros will stretch its arms and kind of trap you underwater. I do not recommend spamming the water dash. Instead, I recommend water dashing, waiting till you get pulled back a bit, and then water dashing again. The reason for this is because there are spikes lining both sides of the walls. So you do want to be careful. So like I said, the trails for the dark rocks, those will stay in the water, and the trails themselves can deal damage to you. So if you see him spitting those out, try to get into the air a bit and uh, they'll just go away a lot quicker in the air than they will in the water. So, uh, as you can tell, while you're underwater, you cannot regenerate, and that's why I recommend trying to enter this portion of the fight uh, at full health whenever possible. Uh, if not, you're just gonna have to do a decent job of, of avoiding everything. Uh, sometimes you'll get lucky and he'll spit two, sometimes three projectiles into the water, and then you can just bash each one of those back to him. Uh, he's a big bullfrog, so you know he's, he's gonna take a lot of damage. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much the fight. Uh, I was able to defeat him in under two minutes and got an extra achievement for that called Timely Demise. Um, once you defeat him, you just got to walk up the vines and then you'll be able to talk to him. And that's it. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. I'll do my best to help you out. If you're looking for more guides for Ori and the Will of the Wisps, please subscribe to the channel to get alerted when new guides go live. If you'd like to support this channel monetarily, please consider doing so by clicking the blue join button below this video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and on Twitch. And as always, I'll be Johnny Cage. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.